Hi everyone, my name is Nick Collier and welcome to my course, Introduction to Workflow Development with vRealize Orchestrator. I'm a practice manager for cloud management and automation at Ahead, and I'm lucky enough to have spent a lot of time with vRealize Orchestrator over the years on the customer side and working with customers today in my day-to-day -day job, helping them embrace cloud and automation technologies. Orchestrator has been an exciting tool for myself and many others to learn. It allows us to truly use automation in a way that can meet business requirements very, very quickly. I've seen absolutely amazing workflows designed over the years, which save companies time and improve quality, and just give a lot of engineers a lot of buzz and enjoyment in the work that they do, seeing workflows come to life to solve problems. It's exciting and I hope you stay with me as we cover workflow development. In this course, we're going to cover an overview of Orchestrator and all the components, get you familiar with this tool because there are a large number of pieces involved in it. We'll go through an approach to workflow design so you can get familiar with whiteboarding first before you just jump in and use the tool. And more importantly, we'll then hit some big things on coding in JavaScript and learning to use scriptable tasks. You have to have a foundational knowledge in JavaScript, not heavy, heavy programming, but certainly some core concepts that you need to know to be able to use workflows more effectively. Once we're done with workflows, actions, scriptable tasks, and JavaScript, we're gonna go on to cover real world examples, upgrading VMware tools and hardware, creating snapshots and scheduling them for automated deletion. By the end of this course, you'll know how to create vRealize orchestrator workflows with all of that basic JavaScript coding required to manipulate them to do the things you want. Before beginning the course, you should be familiar with some basic VMware knowledge. We will be using a lot of examples that cover VMware, vSphere, VM. So having some knowledge there is very important, as well as already having vRealize Orchestrator installed. We're not covering an installation of the product here. We're really covering workflow development with the product. I hope you'll join me on this journey to learn vRealize Orchestrator with the introduction to workflow development with vRealize Orchestrator course here at Pluralsight. Thank you.